to the first World of Warcraft Model Viewer tutorial. I'm Kajasi, and I'm going to show you the very basics of how to work in Model Viewer. So, I just finished installing the program, so let's start her up. So, when you start up, it's going to ask if you want to load World of Warcraft. Now, usually you're going to want to say yes, sometimes you're going to want to say no. Depends on what you're doing. Generally, you're going to want to say yes. Now, since this is the first time I've run it, it's automatically found my World of Warcraft directory, and now it's asking me if I want to search the cache directory. I'm going to say yes. There, it's now completely loaded all the files. First of all, I want to point out that this is all the M2 files. These are, you know, characters, models, just little knickknacks, and doodads, and things like that. Down here, you're going to see two pull downs. You know, you have the first one, which has the models, WMOs, ADTs, waves, and a whole bunch of other files. Models is going to let you access things like characters. This is the default thing. WMOs is for things like cities and bridges and basically anything your character can stand on. Uh, the rest of them you don't need to worry about, but mostly you're just going to be worried about models. This other one, you know, doesn't seem to be working right now, but... It's okay. Here's your list of characters. Now, let's say, for example, that I need, like, a cat. So I'm going to come up here to the search bar and type in cat. Now, it has just gone through every single permutation of every single item and looked for the word cat. As you see, there's a lot of things that have the word cat in them, but you also get things like cataclysm. Now, I'm going to minimize and close up all these other things that... So, now, there we are. Here we are. Simple cat. Now, you're probably wondering, wait, how's he doing that? How's he rotating the, the model? Well, I just left-click the mouse, and I click and drag to rotate the model. If I want to move the model, I can right-click and move it all around. If I want to zoom in on the creature, I can either scroll the mouse wheel or click the mouse wheel or my third mouse and have a nice smoother motion. So here we are with a simple cat. This is, you know, the Bombay. Now, usually when you load up a model, you're going to have a window down here called animation. If you don't have animation, so let's say it looks like that, you can come here to view and show animation control. That'll bring this up. Now, the first pull-down menu is a list of all the animations that this character has. You know, we have things like jump. This is it when it's jumping. We have things like running. Or we can have it swim in, a, in its same spot. Or sleep, get up from sleep. Or just be asleep. But, you know, all of these. And you feel free to, you know, go and look at them and have fun. <laughs> now, the second pull-down lets you change the look of the model. Not every model has this. So, you know, let's say we want the white kitty. There it is. And then we have ones like the orange tabby and the Cornish rex. And... Oh, let's go with the solo. There we go. That's a nice, cute kitty. Now, here are the simple buttons. We have play, pause, stop, clear, and then frame forwards and backwards buttons. Now, you can have these creatures do all sorts of things. And, you know, here, I have a play button that lets you play it after you've paused it. So I can pause it here, and I can, you know, this little bar lets you actually scroll through the frames. You can do it at any speed you want. Play, we'll play it again. But pause will just stop you right wherever you're at. Stop, however, will actually pause the animation. So let's hit play. It will stop it, and then reset it back to frame zero. Then you have the speed button. That's good for if you want to speed something up, or do a slow motion thing. And that's a basic overview of how to animate a model. Now, let me clear the selection. Now, what 
most people are going to want to deal with are the characters. Now, as you can see, there's all sorts of characters here. And, you know, we can go through and say, oh, let's do like an orc male. And the first thing you'll notice, besides the fact that he's naked, is that this screen will pop up over here. This lets you modify the character however you want. So, first things first, let's change his skin. Oh, there we go. That's a good-looking skin color. Orc Smash. Now, we can go through each of these settings and, you know, find one that we like. Oh, and you'll notice, right here, this is all white. What the heck's going on? Well, this is usually an indication that a, a texture didn't load properly or something. Usually you can just go to a different style or something and find something that does work. Alright, so now we have our character. And yeah, I, I don't know what I'm going to call him. I'm going to call him Grok. That just sounds cool. Now, here, on the right-hand side, is an equipment list. I mean, I can go through here and, you know, let's say head. I'll choose head. I'll come over here, and I have a complete list of every item in the game, including ones that aren't really used. I mean, right down here. Cool shades. And you're not going to see many characters with this. But, let's say I want to look up something look up a specific item. Right here, under Filter, I can type in something like, oh, Great Hill. And suddenly I have a list of every item that has the word Great Helm in it. Conqueror's Siege Breaker, oh, that's a good one. We'll go with that. Hit OK. And now he has a nice little helmet. Now you'll notice that we're seeing some ears and his hairs coming through, and that's not how it looks in the game, so... We go here to the character screen, and we can hide his ears, and now his ears are gone, but we can also hide his hair. There, that looks more like it is does in game. And you'll notice that there are other options here too. Let's say, you know, I'm going to take the helm off him for now. Give him back his ears and his hair. Now, one of the things you might notice is that when you're going through the face types, you have ones here with blue eyes. Well, these are the Death Knight faces. So if I come in here, see so you can see kind of a glowing blue. But you'll notice that, wait a second, this character just have glowing eyes. Where are they? Character, eye glow. By default, it's going to go to default. Default will usually mean, you know, if the model usually has the glowing eye, bring up that. If not, don't. Now, we want a Death Knight, so let's click that. Now suddenly he has the Death Knight glow in his eyes. And that looks a lot better. But if they have eye glows normally and you don't want a Death Knight, or you don't want any, you can hit None and it will turn them off. I mean, this is true with, you know, the Blood Elves and the Night Elves, too. I mean, they tend to have a glows. But we'll go back to Death Knight. Now, one last thing I want to cover before we leave is character saving and loading. Now, I can, now that I have Grog here, I'm going to save him, because I like how I have him set up. And let's say I've given him all sorts of gear stuff, so Let's come here and just go Grog. And there we are. He's all saved. Now, anytime I want this specific model again, I can go Character, Load Character, and choose Grog. And boom, there he is. Now, I'm going to show you real quickly a character I've already set up. Now, this is a dwarf, obviously. And this is actually based on one of my characters in the game. I'm going to take away your helmet real quickly. 
Uh, usually there's a way of hiding the helmet. I, I just deleted it for the sake of quickness. But this gives you an idea of how quickly and easily and how customizable you can actually make your characters. Now there's one th more thing I want to point out before we wrap up this one, and that's the import armory character. Now, real quickly, if we go to an armory website, this is one of my characters, if we go up here to the website, copy the address, go back to World of War to WoW Model Viewer, and go character import armory, and paste the address in, the game will automatically load up that character exactly how he looks on the game. Now, this is my current character, Kajasi. So, this has been a general overview of WoW Model Viewer. I hope you've had fun, and I hope to see you next time.